Hi everybody and welcome to my channel Ida Norigami. In today's video I will be folding this traditional crane and I will use a 15 by 15 centimeters square sheet of paper. We begin with the colored side up and I have already pre-creased the first two creases um, that are valley folds along the diagonals like this. And then we turn the paper and do the other diagonal like that. Now, next we flip the paper over and we um, divide it in, along the center, um, both horizontally and vertically. So and crease well. Now I take the paper up like that, hold it like this, and I want to take these corners here, these tips here, and make them meet in the center right here. And then I close this up to get a small square. And then I crease well. Um, and here we have the square base and it's open like that in the end. Now, um, next we want to do valley folds and from this open edge I take this edge uh, and align it with the center line. Like so, then uh, to the other side, and, and I lift this up here and fold it along this line here. Like, this. like so. Now I open it up. And I take this tip here and lift it up like that and do a petal fold. out like so. Now I turn the model over and I repeat the three valley folds and the petal fold. And here I have uh, the so-called bird base. And um, now I want to open it up here, take this side and fold it over to this side here, like that. And crease, and then I flip the model over. And I want to take that tip here and pull it over and crease well. So now the model looks like this. Um, next step is to take this Right here, and well, I fold it along that this line, or as 
just as far as it will go. Like so. And then we flip them all over and I repeat it on this side. Um, like so. Now, these flaps are what will become the wings. So the next step is to prepare the folds in the wing. Um, we begin by bisecting this corner here and that is done by aligning this edge to this edge down here. Like so. And then we want to divide this part here into three equally big parts and then first we take this edge here and we align it with this edge here of this small triangle um, like so and then we take this edge and align it with this edge here So next we want to flat fold this down like that and we want to keep on doing valley folds. So we take this um, edge here and we want to um, align it with this edge here on the other side. So we want to make a crease just right here and like so. Now we close this up again, turn the model and then do the final crease of the wing by aligning this edge to the bottom edge here. Like so. And here we have one wing. Now we turn the model over and prepare the other wing. And now we um, bisect this corner here. So this tip will meet this tip here. Otherwise the wings will be turning in separate direct directions if we would go this way. And we repeat all the folds. Now we have both wings ready and then we want to prepare the hat and first we need to um, mount and fold this triangle here and divide it into two equal parts. This we do um, by it's best to open up the folded wing here and flip this along the crease that had already been made there and then fold this part, this edge, to the center line here.
crease well. This part here, it has many layers, so it's really, really thick. And now I want to close the wing up again. to fold this line to the center line so like on the other side we open up the wing and now we have an narrow neck um, and these tips going down here now we want to um, fold the head and that is done by putting your thumb in here in between and use your index finger to bend this tip down and it will um, reverse fold it uh, back and then we will squeeze it, pinch it right here and here we have the beak. Um, now we want to pull out the wings and then the final touch is to pull on the tail, pull it out, just pull it back like that and make a crease uh, here on this on the center here. Um, and this will make the crane stand better. And so this is the final look of this traditional crane.